All right, here we are at the Saitama Super Arena in the main arena configuration with 16,000 excited fans ready for the next bout of action in Kay's Festa 2, biggest event of the year. In the red corner, we've got Daizo Sasaki facing off against Rukia Ampo in the blue corner. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. We're getting ready here to watch this bout as the referee gives instructions to the fighters they touch gloves quite a lot of height disparity in this one. Oh yeah that's right so this is a super lightweight weight class right? super, yes super, super lightweight three three minute rounds possibility of one round extension look to see some flashy moves from Ampo from Rukia Ampo Big long limbs, likes to jump too, jump with the knee, which makes him very dangerous. Yeah, that jumping knee doesn't really have to hit too hard, but if it hits in the right spot, it can oh, send, you to, send you to sleep. Phil, you couldn't do more right. Uh, it comes, when it's the shot, you don't see it, comes from below, and all of their body weight is behind that thing. You will... Mm. Definitely. Wow! Oh, man! Wow! <laughs> right off the bat, right off the bat, Ampo is sending a message. Sasaki! Ooh, another big front kick. Mm -hmm. Massive movements. Ooh, Sasaki is going to have to try to, try to move a little bit here. Yuki has used that jumping kick in other matches to great success as well. And yes, he's going to have to move here and try and get his bearings back about him. He fought, Sasaki fought, in the super lightweight tournament. Made it all the way to the finals and then had a tough loss to Geo. Okay. So he's looking here to establish some more dominance and say, I get to challenge for that belt. Oof. But he's got Ooh, a nice kick. Man. Nice Uncle kick. In his way. Yeah, really sharp. He knows what he wants. He's trying to get it. Interesting shorts. <laughs> Back to the, uh, the three. Yeah. Get a foot on the sides. You gotta wonder, does that, does that help padding those low kicks? You never know. They have a little slit, maybe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, the tickle factor. Yeah, 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 let's tickle them to submission. Well, maybe it just feels good to kick those. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see. we'll see what Sasaki goes with here. Sasaki showing a little bit of blood. Isn't that a tough matchup with such a height disparity? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, how about a wow, Not only looks like the taller way. guy, but he looks like the bigger guy, too. Yeah. Sasaki is holding his ground. A little bit of blood from the nose there. Is he cut as well above the eye? I can't tell. Bringing in a close here to round one. Mm. Big round okay. for Ampo. Big round for Rukia Ampo here. They kind of tapered off towards the end, but uh, it's all good. Uh, looks like Sasaki has a little leakage going on. Maybe Ampo decided he had won, won the round, so he mm -hmm. kind of backed off a little bit. Yep, yep, saving it, saving it for the second round. Really sharp, long, right. after the kick, stepping in. Right on the money, right on the money. Well, he's a tall fighter, and he makes really good use of his height as well. Sometimes you'll get tall guys who don't make good use of their height. Get by just on their height alone, but not only is Ampo tall, he is very technical yeah. and sound, and he makes good use of He's dangerous. Yeah. He's really dangerous. And he covers ground in the ring. Yeah. He, uh, um, even the, the beginning of the of the round, he went from <laughs> one side to the other, in maybe two steps. Yeah, yeah. Using using his the length of his legs and his wingspan effectively. So I wonder what did what did uh, Sasaki's quarterman say to him? Yeah. Maybe, maybe close the gap, I would imagine. Mm. 
you go. There you go. He's going yep. with the low kicks. And inside, yep, that inside low kick when when uh, Ampo switches to southpaw, targeting the inside of that front leg is not a bad idea. Take his balance away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to sneak in a little uppercut. And he's kind of kind of hey, Sasaki's hanging out a bit in that jab range right now when he can be hit. He probably shouldn't be there. No, he should be the close. He, he has to close it. But if he goes too far back. He's gonna fall victim to those massive kicks. Really yeah. putting everything into yeah. those shots, man. Oh, oh. Okay. A little pressure with the front kick, but then Rukia right there answering back with another front kick of his own. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he has to close that gap. And as you said, maybe work Ampo's lead leg on the inside, mm. keep him off balance. Maybe even just hook it a little bit to get him off balance and deliver mm. a punch. Yeah, he's got a big, big task in front of him. Uh, a physically bigger, taller fighter. Yeah. And with a sharp skill set, yeah. who's, who's using his, his range and his height really well. So he's got he's to figure a way in there. He's got quite a, a puzzle box to break apart here. Excellent guard, excellent guard work by Sasaki, nevertheless. Yes, exactly. Well, it's three rounds only here, so he's got to figure this out quickly. Not a lot of time. Nice front kick there. That's a good move. Let's see if Sasaki can find something that works and stick with it, though. But inside low. It might be where it's at, but... It's scary because that counter will come. Mm, it's true. To them. Even after taking a good inside look, if it comes back with that left hook, yeah. that's a good strike. strike. Yeah, and you can see Sasaki smiling, but that's the smile of someone who just felt a hard shot. Yeah. Still moving forward. A little tough. Gonna, gonna throw something out there. 30 seconds left, not a lot of time left in this one. There you go. Sneaking in those little uppercuts when he can, but they're not really phasing. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, Ooh, that, that hurts. Yeah. I think he connected with the yeah, shin. top of the shin there, yeah. Oh, nice move. Ah. Wow. Ampo is, is just real sharp here. Yeah. He's looking real explosive this fight for such a big frame. Fast, explosive, and rangy. Yeah. He's keeping his range too. Got that knocked down early. Yeah, yeah. And now he's keeping his range and keeping it outside. Yeah, this is this is going to be a tough, tough one to crack for Sasaki. But he's tough. He's hanging in there. I don't think he's cut. Sasaki knows. He knows what he's dealing with. Which is why I think he survived Ooh, this nice long. switch up to that front kick. Yeah. He can make some things like that work for him. But the guard is so important. And Sasaki is, has a good guard mm. keeping his hands up. Indeed, yep. Real good, real good with the, the most essential aspect of the fight game, the basics. You gotta keep your hands up. You gotta keep your balance. Second you gotta keep your eyes on your opponent. Down. Let's see if uh, Sasaki can change the tide. Lousy, final go. round! Sasaki needs a big round. Ampo just needs to keep on doing what he's been doing. Yeah. If he has hit the ball, Sasaki's good. Sleeper, sweep action. Let me sweep, yeah. Luke is making it real hard for him to get inside, and he's throwing some serious power on those shots, too. Ooh. And Ooh, then jumping wow, wow. knee. Oh, oh, nice front kick. That was, that, that was a pro move right there. It saved him from the onslaught. Yeah. yeah, if he hadn't have done that, it would have been a bad Lights way. out, yeah. About a big, about a big. Here's a bit of a chance. Can he make it? Can he make it work for him? Bit of an opening here. Ooh, if he is Ooh, a little tired, if his focus is lapsing a little bit, Ooh. he's giving Sasaki what he needs. Yeah. Sasaki didn't really 
capitalize. Not, ooh, there you go. Sasaki really needs to capitalize on this chance. If Sasaki starts letting his hands go and he gets some rhythm, they're good, man. From the body, up underneath with the uppercut, back yeah. over top. He's got some great combos. He's just got to get that opportunity. got to create the opportunity to let those things go. Mm, nice middle, but a little bit, a little bit too late in the, in the fight to... Mm. But he has the hands. Uh, um, Ampo looks like he's getting a little bit winded. He's getting inside there now. Yeah. Ampo's giving him a bit of an opportunity that he doesn't necessarily need to. He's his bicycle and move around here, but he's kind of choosing to hang on the ropes. And this is what he wants. If Sasaki gets it down, he might, he might change the, he might change the trajectory of this fight. Still a minute left. A lot can happen in one minute. Some nice exchange there in Japanese. They call that uchiai, throwing back and forth, falling those punches. Reckless abandon. Ooh. That's what the fans love. Risky, risky though. Risky, risky. Rondo does not need to do that. Nope. Ooh, ooh, nice big counter. Way. Big counter. The power. Those creates some really nice power with those long limbs. Over the top with the right. Sasaki's letting his guard down a little bit. He's going to get hit in the chin. Ooh, moving in the final 20 seconds. We might see them both just cut loose here and let him go. Rondo. Getting that second win. Both fighters are tired. Last 10 seconds. They can do much. Nope. Dangerous. Last second, and that's it. Great fight. Really good action. But I think Ampo took this one. I'm really impressed with such a big frame. The uh, power that he can generate and the control of distance. A little bit in the third round there, a little bit of um, maybe lapse of focus. Yeah. Hung on the ropes a little bit long, but otherwise, great textbook max put, put textbook match, putting Sasaki um, where he doesn't want to be, not letting him get inside, and then coming back with some big hard shots. Sasaki was, 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 was getting in there, but just didn't have enough to go over the top. Mm. Maybe a low kick, to change things up instead of just throwing hands mm. on, the, on the ropes. Sure. Maybe a body blow. Yep. I agree, I agree. Mixing it up, working in there, and sometimes you just kind of got to wade into the danger zone a little bit. And uh, throw caution to the wind. Yeah, one for Ampo. And another. Yeah, Excellent display of technique and just this experience. Yeah. Um, he knows his body, and he, and he worked it to the to, to the best of its ability. He's got the gift of those long limbs, and he really um, he uses them well. You know, very very nice action there. I'm I'm looking forward to see more from both of these guys. Yeah down the line. Sasaki, the more experienced fighter, um, but in terms of fights had, but Ampo definitely was the better fighter this this round. Uh, Making this, use of those, of those weapons. Well, there you have it. Case Vesta 2. See you next time.